Hey. Alright, so as promised, this is this is my video response to uh Latham Way. Uh for those of you who don't know, last yesterday afternoon I was in Latham Way's blog TV session and he said that his life was utterly boring, so I told him that uh I was going to make a video on anarchism and hopefully that would make his life more interesting. So uh here is that video. And actually I'm doing this really, really quickly because um, at some point I'm going to be leaving here uh, because I am, I am leaving for uh, college and I'm going to get my new dorm. Uh, so that's going to be exciting. So I'm just going to make this video rather quickly. And actually for the benefit of my like 10 subscribers, on this uh, channel. I'm not going to be able to make a video probably for another few days because again I'm moving in and I have to kind of get settled in. I'm going to be rather busy because of uh, welcome week so um, once I'm settled in and everything I'm going to make another video and hopefully I'll be able to make more videos because of the free time I'm going to have there and I've got a lot of neat videos planned so uh, stay tuned everybody. So I'm posting this video as a video response to your video, Jacob, about uh, whether or not the state will just wither away, but I'm actually going to be addressing several points that you've made throughout your anarchism bashing career, if you could even call it that. And actually, I was... I can't find your Calling All Anarchists video. Luckily, I had downloaded that clip beforehand so um because I, I actually wanted to make this video quite a while ago but I uh, checked on YouTube and I cannot find that video anywhere so did you delete it or uh was it taken down or um I don't know but for one reason or another it's not up there so with any debate we start with the beginning anarchism what is it? You know, what, what, what's that? Well, I know what anarchism is. It's the belief that the state is a bad thing. We don't need the state. Uh the definitions. Ah, yes. Probably the most controversial part that will spike any debate ever. How you define your terms. Uh, in that video clip, you defined anarchism as uh, opposition to the state, basically. That's not entirely true. Uh, opposing the state is a necessary but not sufficient condition for uh, being an anarchist. Anarchism comes from the Greek words meaning no rulers. So ultimately uh, you have to oppose any kind of rulers, any kind of hierarchy. In fact, the word hierarchy has archy in it. And some of the things that are commonly also opposed by anarchists are, you know, capitalism, uh, violence against nature, uh, some anarchists are pacifists, so they oppose any violence, period. Um, in fact, actually, anarcho-capitalism is commonly considered by anarchists to not be a form of anarchism due to the fact that it supports hierarchical structures, namely corporations and hierarchical social relations, namely bosses versus uh, workers. What is your proposed alternative to the state? My proposed alternative to the state is uh, more akin to uh, Max Stirner's uh, Union, Union of Egoists, and uh, I really don't have the time to explain that right now. Um, I might end up making another video on it, or if not, you can just um, Google search Max Stirner, M-A-X-S-T-I-R-N-E-R, -E and look that up. How does anarcho-communism work? If anarchism is anti-state, but communism is very pro-state, how does that work? Alright, so anarcho-communism basically works in the same way that regular communism state communism works 
but the thing is that state communists and anarcho communists disagree on how to achieve the society. A communist society has, in its definition, the absence of a state. The definition of a communist society is a stateless society in which uh, the means of production are owned by the community and distributed based on a gift economy, that is, based on Karl Marx's maxim, from each according to his ability, to each according to his need. So in other words, uh, the goods that are produced would be basically dumped into distribution centers where everybody would be able to go and take whatever they want. Whether or not you think that could be realized, or whether or not you think it infringes on people's liberty, uh, it still is not a contradiction. What state communists and anarcho-communists differ on is how to achieve the society. Anarcho-communists propose a revolution, usually at least, and then communism will immediately follow. State communists, on the other hand, mostly Marxists, propose that uh, society will go through a transitional period where um, society will be based on, quote, the dictatorship of the proletariat and then the state will wither away to produce a communist society. So as you can probably see by this point, anarcho-communism is not a contradiction. In fact, most anarcho-communists believe that their form of communism is the only co uh, coherent, uh, non-contradictory form of communism. Can you give me an example from any time in history any time, past or present, can you give me an example of a well-functioning, cohesive, anarchist society? Alright, there have been plenty of these societies uh, having cropped up. Uh, social anarchism mentioned a bunch of them. I mean, there are societies such as the Paris Commune, um, the Soviets in Russia before uh, Lenin and his Bolshevik followers consol consolidated power. There were the Italian factory occupations of the 1920s. Uh, there were was the, there were some of the cities in the Spanish Revolution, uh, etc. Now, your objection to many of these uh, examples is as follows: When you started talking about um, the little dotted about societies that you gave as examples, um, I'd always assumed that a a working society was quite a large scale one, ideally countries. You know, an example of a good functioning society is one that can work on a on a very large scale. Whereas these little dotted about communities seem quite small scale. I fully agree with you actually. Uh any society facing modern problems will ultimately has to be large scale. I fully agree with that. Unfortunately, not all of these uh, um, societies were able to do that, and many of them tried. For example, the, so the peasant Soviets in Russia tried to uh, revolutionize the entirety of Russia, uh, and actually Lenin worked with them to do that, and then ultimately betrayed them. Um, in Spain, uh, the anarchists were trying to uh, build anarchism in the entirety of Spain, although they kind of collaborated with, again, communists and republicans, too, to uh, combat the fascists led by Francisco Franco, and ultimately, again, they were betrayed. So yes, the ideal uh, society would indeed be large scale. Unfortunately, that wasn't available to these places. And uh, you cite that this one society did not uh, have running water for quite a while. And I mean, yeah, you can find all sorts of examples of s these societies not being productive due to the fact that they were small scale. but you can see easily that these sorts of societies were far more productive than other small-scale societies. For example, uh, in certain cities in Spain during the Spanish Revolution, 
Um, for example, there were several aspects of the city that had been damaged. For example, the train system didn't run. In fact, it hadn't run for quite a while. Uh, so they worked and they got the entire thing working again in less than four days, I think. Um, and I was actually reading a pamphlet on that kind of thing, on how uh, the revolution in Spain worked and how they got all these things fixed in literally no time at all. But I uh, can't find it for the life of me, so sorry. In your video on uh, eugenics, you make a kind of quasi-argument. Um, basically, you argue that um, anarchism fails because communicating will not be enough um, to uh, get people to actually do something. And I gotta tell you, I, I can't think of a single anarchist, past or present, that actually thinks that that's the case. Uh, if Other than the hippies, of course, but if you can give me the names of any anarchists that think that communication is enough to get rid of the state or to enlighten people that the state is bad, uh, Give me their names and I will trash them just as much as you would like to. First of all, just because there are advances in understanding and technology in areas that supposedly prop up the state, doesn't mean that the state will just disappear. Now this isn't actually an argument against anarchism, it's an argument more against Marxism, which as I said earlier, believes that uh, we society must go through a transitional period with the state intact until the state just suddenly maybe not suddenly, but they still think the state will disappear. And I fully agree with you that this position is utter crap. I mean, I believe that these advancements that you mentioned will make it easier for a stateless society to function, but I don't think that, by themselves at least, they're going to uh, make the state go away. There really has to be a an overall an overwhelming majority at least who think that this is going to be the case that think that they want to live in a stateless society you're not going to get a non-statist political party that can win an election and then just get rid of the state because it seems to me that doing that would run contrary to what anarchists and non-statists believe i uh, don't know of any anarchists that want to form a political party and there are non-statists that do. Uh, those would be, again, Marxists. In fact, political parties are at the center of Marxism. But uh, that's not an argument against anarchism. That's another argument against Marxism that a political party will not be able to defeat the state. What will happen is they'll get invaded by another state. Well, yeah, basically they will get invaded. I agree with that. And that has happened many times over. Um, mostly by the former government of the state that was abolished. So, I agree. I agree with you that either. So, um, that's all the arguments, objections that you have that I can, that I've seen at least. So, um, yeah. Um, if you have any questions, again, please ask me. Um, I'm going to link you actually to an uh, FAQ called the Anarchist FAQ. It's hosted by uh, InfoShop. I'm going to put it down there in the uh, crotch bar. And um, it's a very good intro to anarchism. I mean, it helped me so much in understanding this. Uh, and Danny Pants GM once uh, said that he was interested in the subject but didn't know much about it and uh, I linked him to that FAQ and he uh, said that it helped him as well so um, yeah um, hopefully uh, you will have the time to at some point make a video response to this or at least um, address me in a comment um, and if you if you don't have the time, then, well, um, I guess screw you.